One of the greatest things about turkey hunting is you don't need to be an expert, nor do you need a lot of equipment to get started. But as you accumulate gear, you'll discover that in some cases, more is better. Hi, I'm Glenn Saper with the National Shooting Sports Foundation. To be successful in the turkey woods, you might only need a short checklist, a shotgun with a full or extra full choke, camouflage from head to toe, and I mean head to toe, cap, face mask, shirt or jacket, pants, dark socks, and dark boots with dark soles. You'll also need a couple of calls, the ability to sit still and show plenty of patience, and of course, your license and tags. That's really all you need, and probably what most folks have when they first get started. But as with any hunting pursuit, many other things can help make your time in the woods more comfortable and more productive. After 30 years of turkey hunting, I've collected more than my fair share of gadgets and gear, far more than I could comfortably carry into the turkey woods. But those years of experience have also helped me fine tune what I do take along on a turkey hunt. And most of it is carried in my turkey hunting vest. A turkey hunting vest is like a portable filing cabinet. And the longer you use it, the more automatically you remember what you have filed in each pocket. Almost everything I need on a turkey hunt has its place in my vest. In one pocket, I carry my locator calls. An owl hooter, a crow call, a Canada goose call, and I also carry a gobbler shaker for that rare occasion when I want to imitate a tom. Locator calls, of course, are great for drawing a gobble and getting a fix on a tom's location without putting him on guard. I also store my right glove in this pocket just to help keep me organized. One other great tool I carry is my wing thing, brown paper bags folded together to make the sound of a turkey flying down from its roost. Of course, you can beat your cap or even your hands against your pants to produce a similar sound. In another pocket, I carry the attractor calls, used to imitate the calls of a hen turkey, a box call, a couple of slate calls and strikers, and several mouth calls. I also store my left glove in that left-sided compartment. Along with those items are my slate abrasive and my chalk for my box call, as well as a plastic bag to help protect my box call on rainy days. In a lower pocket, I carry a few extra shells, though I always hope one is all I'll need. And I also store a small flashlight. In the other bottom pocket, I carry a folding saw and pruners. They come in handy when I want to build an instant blind or clip some limbs to make a clear shooting lane. My folding knife can come in handy in a lot of ways, including field dressing my tom. In an inside pocket, I carry drink and snack. It may be a bottle of water or a couple of juice pouches, which are lighter. The snack is usually a breakfast bar or two. I also stow toilet paper in a plastic bag, and you don't have to strain your imagination to realize what a welcome aid that can be. On the other inside pocket, bug spray. You can't sit still if you are swatting black flies, mosquitoes, and no seams. I also towed a small spray container of eyeglass to fogger. One spray on each lens ensures I'll have a clear view when I'm ready to pull the trigger. Finally, in the portion of the vest that I'll call my game bag, I carry three portable decoys, two hens and one jake. Of course, I always hope that on my way back to the vehicle at the end of the hunt, those three decoys will be sharing the game bag with a real turkey. Two other aids that I wouldn't leave home without are a pair of binoculars around my neck and my favorite cushion. Your vest might even have a built-in seat. I hope my 30 years of experience will help you create your own checklist for turkey hunting. The one thing you'll probably have to do on your own is find a place to hunt. But the National Shooting Sports Foundation can be of help there too. Visit the hunting section of nssf.org to learn of public hunting opportunities and shooting facilities in your state. 
So go out there, have fun, and hunt safely.